the second language acquisition and the role of internal mechanisms one of the things that the researchers in 1980s were interested in was to know about the internal mechanisms that were at work when learners were learning a second language these internal mechanisms can be divided in two types language specific issues and cognitive issues so what were the language specific issues that interested the researchers the researchers were very interested to find out how similar are the first and second language acquisition processes so if we could possibly know the process of how a first language was learned and we could know how similar or different the process between the first language and the se- second language is then i would be able to understand the whole process of the second language learning more and this could guide my practices another language specific um issue that the researchers in the 1980s were interested to know were how far are the similarities caused by language specific mechanism still uh, being achieved so the question was if uh, like uh, chomsky said there was a specific mechanism in the mind and if the first language learners used that mechanism um, uh, to learn the first language almost effortlessly by using even fragmentary input then can the same mechanism be accessible to the second language learners and how could i possibly model this mechanism if it is not available to the learners when they are doing the second language learning we would like to know that how can we possibly model these uh, mechanisms because if these mechanisms are working and if i could possibly um, think about my classroom practices and if we could co- possibly tell the teacher what are the models that i would use and which could possibly facilitate second language acquisition then the task of the teacher becomes much easier and then there is this broad question how relevant is this chomsky's concept of universal grammar which aspects of this um, universal grammar thing are more applicable which things are more vague all these things are way of much interest to the second language uh, researchers in the 80s and then there is a set of cognitive issues now cognitively speaking the researchers would be interested in knowing in what respect is second language learning and processing similar or different to the learning of other skills is teaching a language or is learning a language the same as the learning of any other skill for instance fixing a bicycle or teaching or teaching and learning of mathematics or of social studies or history so if i would know how much the the information processing that goes on in the mind of the child is similar or different from the second language learning then this would be of help to the teachers of course to know what type of methodology would facilitate their learners now although over here because the whole course is geared towards the teaching of the second language and we talk about its relevance to the second language acquisition please remember as we discussed it before that in this era the second language acquisition had taken on um, uh, as a new discipline and it was interested in knowing things for the for they themselves for instance it was a distinct field and it was not um, for the pedagogical purposes rather but for knowing how the learning process actually took place <laughs>